I do think that there's some like obvious and clear problems with the transfer portal. And I don't know if I've got a great fix, but I, I, I never want to give you guys like an, a problem without at least offering a solution. I don't want to just be a problem guy. It's easy to look and see and say like, hey, that's wrong. It's hard to fix it. So on this podcast, I respect you enough to always at least have an idea. Okay, of of how we can fix this. So the portal is hard. It's really hard. Um, here are two of the problems that I that I I see and and are really really difficult to try to put parameters around. Number one, there are hundreds of players that are throwing away their scholarship. They work their entire life dedicated themselves to this game to get an, an opportunity to go play college football and get a college scholarship so that they can get a free education. And they throw it away when they enter the portal on bad advice and can't find anywhere else to land. So it's a game of musical chairs. And there's about 15 to 20% of the chairs, so two out of 10, I would say, that are going to get pulled out. And guys are going to be standing around, looking at everybody in the chairs, thinking to themselves, oh my goodness, what did I just do? That's actually like heartbreaking for me to think about because of the opportunity. Like I, I personally believe in education is so powerful. The connections that you make at some of these programs are so powerful. The networking opportunities that you have are so powerful. And, and to throw that away... And, and not get a chance to get it back, that's tough. And, and I don't quite know what the fix is for that, but that's certainly a problem. Let me, let me tell you about another problem. Tampering. I hate the tampering issue. And it's really hard to put guardrails on it, but in no world should anybody in one program be incentivizing or tampering with players that are under scholarship in another program. That should never happen, period. And it happens all the time. A lot of times, by the way, it's because all these players know each other through their recruiting process, and so they're texting each other. But the problem is, is that I know that there are coaches that are using their own players to text other players to try to remove themselves from the process. So here's what I would say. In order to get tampering out of this situation where coaches don't have to worry about their players receiving texts from other people like, hey, come over here. We're going to pay you this. You're going to start for this guy. Oh, come on. Like, I hate that. I hate it. It doesn't happen in the NFL. It shouldn't happen in the NFL. And it's penalized in the NFL. So we need to start penalizing it in college football. Here's a fix for tampering. If you get caught tampering, your program gets caught tampering, it's a million-dollar fine for the head coach, period. Blanket fine. And not just like, hey, a booster can pay it. No, 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 no. Taken out of your paycheck. It gets taken directly out of your paycheck. You want to clean up tampering in college football? Million-dollar fine for the head football coach. Boom. Cleaned up right away. Right away. I think that's why the NFL is so much cleaner than college football. Now, granted, they've got a CBA, and they've got a lot of things that, that college football doesn't, but th their fine system... An ability to enforce their rules is so much more powerful than in college football. And we need to start giving some of our enforcement agents or, or, or enforcing the rules that we have with actual punishment. Go to the pocketbook. Million dollar fine for a coach. And I just say, like, put the phones on the table. Boom. You got your phone? Put it on the table. And if there's impropriety, bam, million dollars. And you're going you're gonna to find out real quick how clean you can get college football. As far as those scholarships thrown away, here's, here's one solution that I would throw out there. And this will be my last thought for the day. I do believe that because of the world of NIL and now Transfer Portal, I, I do believe that we should have a system where college football players, they can enter into an agreement with an agent right now. Okay, And, and that's now legal. The problem is, is that there is not a, a good way to track those agents like they do in the National Football League. See, in, in the NFL, because there's a union and an NFLPA, a Players Association, 
the agents have to register with the PA. And so they've got to go take classes. They've got to understand the rules and they've got to be above board just in order to, to operate, to do business. Well, why aren't we doing that in college football? See, the more we can bring people into the light and out of the shadows, the better and cleaner college football will run. I believe that there should be a process where we have agents that we know who they are, what they know, we know the rules that they have, and we've got some sort of framework over the agreements that they are entering into with these athletes, and at least the institution or the conference would know about them. And in, in, and in that way, what you would get is you would know who the guys are or, or, or women you would know who the entities are that are giving advice to these players. And the more that you can bring that into the light, maybe you can prevent some of these players from entering into the portal on bad advice. So all I'm trying to do here is, is prevent bad advice. And the more that you can do that, the better. If you, can, if you can get tampering out of the equation and if you can get the agent world into the light and not the shadows, then you prevent bad advice and you prevent tampering. And then now maybe we won't have 20% of these players or more going into the transfer portal and then not finding a seat in the musical chairs. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.